Good evening. Officials are once again urging all New Mexicans to get the COVID vaccine as the number of hospitalizations continues to rise among the unvaccinated. This as New Mexico's hospitals have reached crisis standards of care. Let's get to News 13's Jackie Kent. It's a grim message from health officials. New Mexico's top doctor says hundreds of COVID deaths in our state could have been avoided had those patients received the shot. Almost a thousand people have died in New Mexico since February 1st that didn't need to die had they been uh, vaccinated. And that's that really is a tragedy. It's something that's avoidable. At a press conference this afternoon, Health and Human Services Secretary Dr. David Scrace said that 105 people or 89% of New Mexicans who died from COVID over the past four months were not vaccinated. The number of COVID deaths in the state is averaging around 10 a day, and Dr. Scrace expects that to be the case for the next month. As for what that means for hospitals and patients, there are only 11 ICU beds available statewide, including two here in the metro. 87 general medical beds are available, so officials are trying to transfer more ICU cases to those areas. Over the next month, under new crisis standards of care, Doctors will be using standardized procedures when deciding who gets care. The state is not closing down medically necessary procedures, but we're saying to hospitals, if you get to the point where true care rationing is happening, then uh, you have to suspend those. Dr. Scrace says we're in the sixth straight week of having a plateau of cases, but states the goal is to have around 10 cases per 100,000 people. The closest county is currently at 15. Health officials hope getting more kids vaccinated will help stop the spread of the virus. They believe the Pfizer vaccine for children ages 5 to 11 could be available by early November. Back to you. All right, thank you, Jackie. Tonight, we're also learning more than 30,000 hospital employees or 88% of the state's hospital workforce is vaccinated and 7.5% have an approved exemption. State health officials also reported just under 1,900 new COVID cases over the last three days. That's an average of 632 cases per day. San Juan County led the case count with 384. Meanwhile, Bernalillo County saw 379 cases. There were eight more deaths reported and 300 people are currently in the hospital with COVID. That's 32 fewer than Friday.